Many of you may have questions on what is a grand jury. I know we had questions here. It's different from a trial jury. First of all, 16 members and three alternates and 12 of those members have to agree to get a true bill or an indictment in a case. All of this is done in secrecy. They're able to review all evidence and call all witnesses in a case. This is important because we've been hearing from people saying if there's any more information out there regarding the death of James Scurlock, they want people to come forward. Not only can the county attorney still review that, but that information would be made available to the grand jury. Now, the special prosecutor is the one calling witnesses. The grand jury can also ask questions of the witnesses. But in this case, very different from what we're used to in a jury trial, there is no defense attorney questioning people on the witness stand. Now, once there is a true bill or indictment, if there is in a case an indictment does not equal a conviction. What does that mean? So if something came about where there was an indictment, that would mean that that person was indicted. That would mean that it could then go forward to a jury. So obviously this is quite a process. And actually we learned today it's going to take even longer than would be normally expected because of COVID-19 restrictions.